just over half of the country is banked and the rest is not. We currently are operating about 16,000 stores uh, or agents, let's say. Uh, of those, about 6,200 are bank correspondents. Um, we are reaching roughly about two and a half million end users at the moment um, and uh, growing approximately about 2,500 stores per month. Studies by AC Nielsen uh, stipulate that uh, a Colombian visits on average 1.4 times a day a store of these. Uh, and that's why we're integrating that, those kind of stores into a system like this. Uh, average spending uh, per visit, according to Nielsen, is about a uh, dollar forty. So you know, uh, and uh, st a study done by a radar group in Colombia, um, about sixty percent of the population live on a day-to-day -day wage. Being able to pay in the store next to them, uh, it's equivalent of not them paying transport fees and buses and so forth to go and pay in the in the in a in a bank branch or something that uh, it's equivalent to what they're going to be paying in their bill payment. So that, that, that's helping a lot. We'll be coming out with uh, deposits and withdrawals uh, in, at the end of this month. And uh, we do everything through the mobile. We are an entrepreneur venture at the moment. We're in an early growth stage, just a typical curve. Uh, so we're still investing heavily in uh, creating this network. As I say, we're growing about 2,500, 3,000 stores a month. That takes a lot of capital. And within that, like any venture that it's in the early growth stage, it requires a lot of cash. And within that, you know, the uptake will be in the next stage. Currently, we see about, uh, as I said, we have about 15, 16,000 stores at the moment. We project to go uh, with our par bank partner to about 36,000 stores, of which half of them will be bank agents. Uh, that will be towards the end of next year, 2012. We envision the way things are going will be profitable by August of next year. So, uh, but that uh, high volumes, this is a very high volume, low margin business. Mobile banking, and to a certain extent, has been going on in Colombia for the last three or four years. But uh, transactional ways within the network, within their bank is the first, early first stage. Um, I see that it has a great potential for people, reduction of costs and their, li li their living a standard. So uh, these pilots going on, um, there's two banks working on this, our ally and another bank, uh, with their electronic accounts, as we call in Colombia, which are really mobile uh, accounts. Uh, it's just taking off. There's not that many. It's about uh, currently about 600,000 public figures that's shown by the two banks. So it's still growing. Uh, not much usage. Uh, it's just the beginning of the curve, really, right now. There's a dominant player, and the dominant player is uh, uh, charging fees that are, even uh, internationally speaking, above the norm. So those are issues that uh, the banking uh, entities are discussing with the telco regulators that uh, if we really want to promote this, um, the telcos that are no, not part of the business, but they are the gateway to, to do this, uh, will have to bring down their, their cost substantially. Um, for an SMS in Colombia, uh, a bank is paying uh, roughly about 15 cents for a notification where in the rest of the world it's about two cents. For me, financial inclusion is being able to go to a, a store that you don't have to pay three, four dollars to get to a bank branch. Our government is actually big, uh, has big subsidy payments right now. Mostly it's done by credit card or, or plastic and, and uh, cash. Uh, so these pilots, if they prove successful, I think government, the government will have a big, big part of this. Also, uh, if we're able to create these large networks of stores where actual people do their daily shopping, uh, I think that, that that also will have a great impact. And perhaps a third 
is uh, if banks really come into this and promote it with massive uh, advertising and so forth, I think it would do well. At the moment, not much has been done about it. So we're really at the early stage right now compared to other countries, especially Africa.